What's up, everybody? This is Jason back with Campbell's Morel Music Rig Rundown, episode 36. Woo! Already flying along. And I couldn't get another bass player this week. So we had to settle for uh, lead singer of the Dime Store Cowboys, <laughs> uh, <laughs> who's also an excellent guitar player, but never shows it on stage. But uh, Mr. Travis Bentley, appreciate you showing up and doing this. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. And uh, it's this convenient, you know, we have practice tonight, so he's already here. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and we're going to roll with this thing. <clears throat> Travis has got a really good, simple setup and a killer amplifier and... We're going to talk about all of it, and uh, in Dime Store, you mainly play lead. I mean, you mainly play rhythm guitar, but uh, every now and again, you'll break out a lead lick or two. Every now and then, I guess. <laughs> just a little feel. We may just fire Tori and let you play it all. <laughs> I think that's a bad idea, because <laughs> I get a lot more practice under my belt. So, yeah, I and mean, we'll start with the guitar itself, and I know a lot of a lot about this guitar, and Travis does as well. Uh, this Telecaster with some, some awesome P90 Jazzmaster style pickups in it. And, uh, this thing's been re totally redone, had it? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I come up here to Campbell's and had y'all put a, that was a Mexican neck, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Roasted maple, lacquered fretboard, and then those Jazzmaster pickups. I think they were 65 Jazzmaster pickups mm -hmm. and, uh, it already had the Jazzmaster style pickups in it, but, um, that was a huge improvement for sure we upgraded, i love these uh, pickups upgraded all the pots and put the locking tuners and all that stuff on it mm -hmm. so this is the main guitar you if you come watch us play this is the main guitar you'll see travis play mm -hmm. then he stickered sure. up the the pick guard yep just took a bunch of uh my favorite anime and horror stickers and just slapped them on there on the on the pick guard so it's kind of uh more my thing you know yeah i know these paranormal tellies are awesome man yeah that, that great... started off as a squire paranormal series but now is a highly upgraded well honestly paranormal. for the for the money just the way that guitar comes it's completely worth every penny i yeah. think <clears throat> and then uh <clears throat> strap wise you know i think is that just the ernie ball strap or uh, that is one of those what's it i can't it's remember a, the brand but anyway it's a P. oh perry's leather probably but yeah and uh, Tra Travis usually has a bucket full of picks. He <laughs> sits over to the side stage. We make fun of all the picks he carries. He's like, he's got a different pick for each song. You just about. You I just have comfortable. There are certain things I play where I'm just more comfortable with a certain pick than others. I think you just got a, a thing for picks. Uh, yeah, I do. I definitely have a thing for <clears> picks. <throat> People will tell you they don't make a difference. I think they make a huge difference. They make a huge difference. And, especially with comfortability of what you're playing. There are certain licks, but I think it's part partially i think i tricked myself into thinking i need a certain pick <laughs> for certain licks but that is what it is yeah but so yeah and uh we got the uh fender coley cable running into this pedal board uh coley cables have kind of made a comeback and trend i see a lot of people wear, playing them now so they're sick um straight into the boss tuner tu3 that's always the most important piece of gear we got yeah the rest of your pedals i guess they're in order we'll talk about what they are and then the the chain i guess and then we'll just hear hear each one yeah a little bit so yeah, yeah first just your Is clean just straight tone. amp yeah okay nice good clean fender tone and what's that first drive pedal that is the voodoo lab sparkle drive come up here one day and you just uh said it was one of the best drives ever made i'll tell you anything to sell you a pedal i know hey get, he's got me with that several times <laughs> now. yeah and that all that reverb you're hearing just from the amp but uh i like the voodoo labs just because it may have been one of the first pedals that had a clean blend on it it's like a tube screamer basically circuit with the clean blend it's, it's super cool and uh that helps add this clarity to the distorted sound yeah personally i've never been a huge fan of the uh of the tube screamers right i just think that they're really bright sounding it's probably just the way i deal with them i've just i'm bad at dialing them in the way i want them to sound um it's always more of a blues driver kind of guy but this pedal right here i really think 
does it really well. Mm -hmm. And it's, sure. I mean, it's an old classic. So if you can find those <laughs> used, you better pick them up. Then now that, and I have no idea why this next pedal's on the board for country music, <laughs> but uh, we'll talk about it anyhow. I mean, I got a reverb on my uh, board, so it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but yeah, Boss Metalcore ML2. And uh, let's hear that thing. It sounds pretty good. Yeah. Especially we do a song, we do a cover song of a trucker song that dropped D. Mm -hmm. So it gives it a huge thick tone. Yeah. For sure. Um, that's probably the only song you probably use that for now. Only, yeah, I only had like <clears throat> one song I used that on. Uh, the weird pedal you got over there, the Visitor. Yeah. Well, There's another one I probably told you you needed. Yeah, it was. It's like a phaser. I can't remember if you actually told me I needed it or not, but. I use it on like cancer. But it's a it's a multi effects. It actually has a secondary and a primary channel on it. And the secondary has tremolo and chorus. The primary channel you can choose between tremolo, chorus, or phaser. Okay. So and you can right, add as much as you want. Right now I just have phaser on there, um, but you can choose phaser and tremolo or chorus, chorus, tremolo. Yeah. You can you can do doubles of both if you wanted to, but there's a secondary knob on there that lets you customize how much of that second channel you want in right. the, in the mix, and then there's a mix knob that lets you even control it further. But I really like that pedal. You can get some pretty cool noises out of it. Yeah, and that's, sure. that's made by Old Blood Noise Endeavors, which makes some really cool effects if y'all hadn't checked those out. But <clears throat> yeah, that <clears throat> you can get almost that Waylon Jennings phaser type tone out of it and then some adds texture, I guess, to your clean tone too, for sure. Yeah, it's got some really cool... I was actually surprised by the quality of the phaser in it. Because mm -hmm. um, you always hear about the phase 90, stuff like that. Um, and I've played through them. I like them. But to just have so much in one pedal, I mean, for the as little as I use it, it's nice to have all those different effects as options. Yeah. All right. And then from there, this uh, uh, straight up Boss DD3 with a tap tempo on it. And mm hmm. Right have now, you got it set up? So it's basically like uh, like a. Kind of like a, just kind of a, almost like a slap back, but a little bit longer. But it, yeah, uh, yeah, just kind of lingers around. Gives it a little bit extra. I kind of enjoy it for certain stuff. Then a uh, tap tempo switch where you can just tap in the oh, tempo yeah. of the delay it's, you want with the beat. You like. Yeah, for sure. I actually, uh, <clears throat> main reason I wanted one of these pedals, which you wouldn't know it by what I play, but that's what Adam Jones from Tool uses. Oh, yeah. I absolutely love the DD3. <laughs> I just know it's got tons of capabilities in it. Um, then uh, the other little side pedal over here is the, the just a foot switch. tremolo and reverb for the amp. Mm -hmm. I don't use the tremolo very much, but it doesn't sound bad at all. I mean, I guess. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Just cut that in. Fender tremolo. Yeah. It actually does sound really good. Play some Creedus Clearwater with that tremolo. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <clears throat> and then you leave the reverb on most all the time? On the Pretty end? much all the time, yeah. I just love reverb. Yeah. That's something I don't really cut off very much. I usually have it somewhere between four and six, just depending on how I'm feeling that day. Yeah. But depending on where I'm at, sometimes I want to hear it better so so everything you've got i think you've got from us oh yeah for sure and then uh including this uh this is a 68 reissue fender princeton reverb and uh maybe one of the best amps you've ever had oh it is the best amp i've ever had for sure i've had um 
I've had a Hot Rod Deluxe. I've had the Tone Master Deluxe Reverb because I was trying to go solid state for a while. I have had Marshall DSL 40. Um, I've had a lot of different amps, but Boss Katanas, and I loved Boss Katana. For the money, Boss Katana, you can't beat it, of yeah. course. But out of all the amps I've had, that one right there is one that I'm going to stick with. I, I love it. Yeah, you know, I won't be getting rid of it anytime soon for anything. I think, in, um, especially in the country world, the the Princeton's probably the most recorded amp in history, as far as I can remember. But, um, and don't let them fool you with the low wattage and the small speaker. They're we pretty loud. I mean, we're we're a loud band on stage. You hear it just fine. Oh yeah, Tori uses a twin. Now, they won't keep up with a twin, but it. Well, Tori's Tori ain't right. That's true. Tori shouldn't be using a twin, <laughs> to be fair. Tori but, should get with him one of these. Yeah, he needs to get him a Princeton. Yeah. You know, the Princeton, it's it can go way louder than you would ever actually need to be at most live venues. Yeah. I mean, there's <clears throat> there's not much you're going to be doing that's going to need more than that. Yeah. I think it's just great sounding. But, uh, yeah, we've got it mic'd up with the SM57 again, simple. But the reason it sounds so good and everybody can hear it, it's because of this mud stand. Oh, absolutely. The mud stand does make a huge difference. Yeah. There's no denying it. Um, just getting it up off the floor. It's like this tile in here, you have the amp sitting on the tile, is going to just sound bright and real chittery. And you get it up on something like that, and it it really does. Yeah. It's very clear. For y'all that don't know, Mud Stand is, is a local company. Uh, he makes those right down there in Limestone, Tennessee. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah Mud Stand's. Or great. I mean, you and you and Tour both got one. I'll tell you, uh, one of our other local bands, and one, our local favorite bands, Forty Nine Winchester. They every one of them play them, and they swear by them. And uh, everybody that people are kind of suspect of them at first because they're just foam looking, simple things. But once you hear one in action and and actually feel what it does, it isolates uh, so well, and then it puts it at the exact angle it needs. You I will to to hear it. tell you too, it is durable foam. It's, very it's durable. not just your average foam. Because my dog, we had just got our dog. I had this sitting behind on my couch where I always keep it. And uh, she got a hold of some of the foam and she was not able to get through it. Uh -huh. And that's saying something. I mean, yeah. a dog would be able to chew right through styrofoam, but it, yeah. it could not get through that. They're good stands for sure. I think the first show that we got to test it out at was at Capone's yeah. right after we got ours. And you could, you could tell a huge difference yeah. on stage. Um, it, it does. It makes a big difference. You don't have to run your amp as loud either because it's pointed more up your yeah. ear. Yeah. So y'all check right out mudstand.com. Go get, go buy some. Give the, Keep that money local. That's what we're all about, supporting local. And uh, Travis is supporting local by buying all this stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> Campbell's is the place to go for any gear you need. Guitars, gear, anything. Play a couple stuff, some dime store songs, you know. Uh, not you don't have to go through the whole thing. Just uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so you got like a. That's old times are changing right yeah. there. Opening up. And then you got stuff like um, obviously Cancer, which I played earlier, but yeah, you can play can't that. leave it out. Cancer is going to be on the new record. It is. That's one that uh, I don't guess unless people have uh, seen us live, they've not heard that one. Yeah, so we've played that live here the last few months, and but yeah, we've got we've got a new record in the work, or not in the works. We got it planned, and uh, it's going to be in the works real soon. Oh yeah, our last record, uh, time or what is it called? <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Shoot. Come on. Our last record, uh, Let's Try This Again, is, you know, <laughs> first record with Travis, and, and uh, it it done very well. And 
got all people all across the world to listen to that thing. But yeah, we got we got we got more songs and getting ready to start laying those things down. We got to get serious about it. Yeah, this next album is gonna have a bunch of weird tunings and stuff on it. That's, That's what I like. Yeah, it is weird. It's all there's. I think they're all still sad. Yeah, they're sad. My mom says, "Why do y'all play so many sad songs?" Does she? Yeah. You just what'd you tell her? I said they're just easier to write. <laughs> sad songs are easier to write because yeah, we're sad people. I guess I don't know. But, I don't uh, think it should be easier to write. No, nah, but uh, yeah, we got that in the works. Uh, yeah, I have to tell you about upcoming shows because Travis don't remember nothing. Oh come on, you're kind of right. <laughs> got so we'll have yeah, we're playing this weekend, but that'll already be gone. Uh, October six, we got a double header. We're playing the Apple Festival in Irwin at uh, about 3 o'clock. And then uh, that night, we're playing at Capone's with Sam Foster and the Obsolete. That's going to be sick. And Sam's uh, from the Piedmont region. I don't know if y'all heard him yet, but I've listened to these music. He's, they're great. They're good. Yeah. I think it's going to be a great show. And then uh, October, I don't know. Uh, we got, yeah, that's October 6th. Then Dime Store again in December, we got a couple of shows. Uh, the first weekend of December with laid back country picker and Luna, you know, that's, that's so good. That's going to be huge. Uh, we've been, we're going to pack it out for that one. We haven't played at Capone's here the last little bit. I'm just yeah. super stoked to get back in. So that one, that's and then we're going to be, uh, at the Paramount opening up for the cherry popping daddies, yeah. <laughs> which makes no sense for a country band, but yeah. we'll, <laughs> Hey, we'll be there and we'll have shirts. So we need y'all to buy all of our shirts and merch. That's going to be good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be super good. Last year's was great. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to talk about? Um, Where did you buy that hat at? What did you say? <laughs> it's a net hat. Oh. It's a surf shop. <laughs> <clears throat> what surf shop? I don't know. Where would you get them shoes? <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, yeah, we'll put this one in the blooper reel. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, put the whole thing in the blooper reel. It's uh, <laughs> you want to play a metal riff? Oh, Got any sure. Metal in you? Sure, maybe. I guess I could play something like the. Um... So look out mountain by the drive by truckers. Yeah, we did we uh heavily okay. influenced by the drive by truckers and you know I say we tagged them in this post and <laughs> we're go we want to open up for the drive by truckers at the orange peel. <laughs> that would be badass. After Cooley that, and that Patterson be... get done with their solo tours, <laughs> we'll go back come back to the orange peel and Dime Store's gonna open up for them. I, that's what we're, we're gonna make that happen. That would be that would be and, a very uh, climactic. We'll play point. all their songs before they play them. <laughs> uh, they probably wouldn't like that. <clears throat> but, Do every single one of them. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> I didn't think about this. We should have put a microphone like a in front of him and have him sing some, but uh, nah. Travis does mostly singing and rhythm playing, so this was kind of an awkward. We don't want to hurt nobody's ears now. No. Uh, that, that's where that's where all the money's made right there. <laughs> and uh, y'all, uh, y'all go check out the Dime Store Cowboys. Go to Bandcamp, download our music, follow us on all the socials. Travis gets his feeling hurt really bad, really bad, really easily if you don't if you don't I, like him. I do. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but it just, uh, I guess it's just a uh, what do you? It's a weakness of mine. It is. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody's got to like me. So I, you know, our most popular song downloaded right now is Alabama. Just play that intro to Alabama and we'll fade us out into oblivion and heck yeah. Y'all come shop Campbell's music. Come hang out with us. We'll talk gear between the hours of 10 and 6. I don't talk it after that. But uh, I better <laughs> remember this. You got a tuner. Might do that when you got an ear. Oh, yeah, okay.
that's where the heavy part gets. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, and thanks for everybody's support on this thing. And we'll see you soon. We'll be back next week. Big something. thanks. Yeah. Big thanks to everybody. Thank Campbell's and Dave and everybody for having me out here to do this. It's been a, it's been a treat, that is for sure. That's just because we couldn't find a bass player this week. God. Uh -huh. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> Thank you. Sitting here writing this song Thinking about the young day You were here and I wasn't so alone Wish there was a way for me to kill the pain. Wish that you would pick up your phone. Nothing dry when you don't tag along But you left out to find you another home By the time you hear this will be back in Alabama I can't take the thought of you